Alrighty, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to build and use the fluidizers. Now let's get on to building it. What you'll need is a fluidizer casing, glass, fluidizing controller, power port, output port, fluid injector if you want to combine fluids, and a solid injector if you want to turn ingots like cyanite into the fluid version. To get started, use the fluid casings to build a 5x5 platform, just like I did with the reactor in the last video. If you don't know how that works, there will be a link of that video in the description. I'm going to go watch it. Besides that, build four blocks up from the platform's corners. Connect them all together. Fill up some of the walls with either glass or the fluidizing casings, fill up the roof, now put down your controller on one of the um, sides here, one of the walls, do not put them on the edges because then it won't work, solid injector, an output port, now to make it work this machine also requires power so you're also going to need the power port and now it works just fine. If I were to give it one cyanite, if the game would let me, here we go. And if I give it some power, once I turn this baby on, it should start producing cyanite fluids, as you can see here, and inside of the tank. Now, um, there's also another fluidizer you can build, it's to combine fluids, which you'll need for some ingots inside of the mod, specifically the ananite, uh, these words are hard, but you're going to need the uh, verdarium, if I say that correctly, you need to combine plutonium and yellorium to make um, that fuel, and when put inside a Instead of a reactor, it'll turn to the resource you need to make the inanite and the insanite or whatever. Anyways, to do that, just do the same thing I did before. Build a 5x5 platform. And basically, just build up the same multi-block uh, multi structure. This time... Instead of using the solid injector, you're going to use two of the fluid injectors. Like so. Fluid injector, fluid injector, you'll still need the output. You just put these down, and as you can see, the machine is working. And to use this machine, it's as simple as just turning it on, putting plutonium and yellorium in it, for example, and then it should work just fine. If I were to turn this to push and you to pull, you can see here, it's starting to produce more. That's how that works. There's nothing really more I can tell you about this. Um, so that's about it for the tutorial in terms of building it. Um, the use of these machines is mainly for getting the ingots of this mod, which the ingots, in my opinion, aren't that useful, besides getting more power. Um, one of the main things, or two of the main things you want to use this for, is to get plutonium, put that in a reactor, and that should make mag, magnet, uh, mag, magnetite, or something. Magentite, magentite, that, that was it, this right here. You're going to need to put the plutonium inside of a reactor for that. Um, are you empty by chance? Yes, you are. So, if we were to put plutonium in here, it's a solid, it should start depleting it into magentite. But for now, that's not going to show anything, as it'll take a while for this to burn up. I can't really speed it up manually neither is it turned on. It also make more power, depending on what fuel you use. In this case, it'll make a little bit more. As you can see, about 40k, uh, 30k. And same goes for the Verdium. If you were to just simply use a 
fluid port instead. So fluid port, a turbine. That's when you need the reactor fluid port. I think you need this one. If you were to put that down inside of your reactor, you should be able to insert uh, fuel using things like the fluid tanks with pipes you can just start piping fluids in um then using the verdium for durium for deer for durium you can then make the ananite and insanite uh like i said in the next video i'll be explaining the reprocessor which i'll get into then and with that you should be able to complete the full mod um the turbine i'll explain after that as i mostly want to focus on getting the other mod star that was it thank you for watching see you